In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 50 plus points of interest that you might have missed from the GTA 6 leaks. So these are all of the locations we know of from the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks, and we'll even throw in a little bit of extra speculation from the official stuff that's been confirmed from the very first trailer. So let's begin with the businesses that were found, and we start with number one, Vice City Pawn. And this is a unique one because it makes you wonder if the pawn shops can actually be utilized. Like let's say, for example, you find stuff in game, whether it be jewelry or electronics, are you able to pawn them off and get a certain amount of money but then ultimately have to repay it or otherwise you might have like some mob bosses come after you kind of like what happened to Nico Bellic's brother Roman in Grand Theft Auto 4 when he got into debt that could certainly be interesting number two is the Malibu Club I, I think we're all very positive that nightclubs are going to be a massive part of Grand Theft Auto 6 like for example we've already seen a handful of them like the Jack of Hearts Strip Club as well as the 919 nightclub all parodies of real life clubs but the Malibu Club is also going going to be returning. This was an iconic location from Vice City. Not only did it serve as a dance hall, but it also sort of served as the staging ground and hub of Tommy Versetti's operations in that game. So it'll be interesting to see if that does return or when it does return. Number three is Hank's Waffles. We obviously saw this in the leaked video footage. This is going to serve as one of the in-game robbery opportunities. It's a parody of a popular chain in the south of the United States, Waffle House. Number four on our list today is Kingfisher Cargo. I wonder if this is the cargo ship we ended up seeing in the very first trailer or at least the port of Miami. It's probably somewhere near there. I'm sure there could be some interesting Easter eggs and secrets. You know that Rockstar has to be aware of all the pop culture references that occur there. Think of popular TV shows like Dexter and Miami Vice. There's a lot of different things that they could include in here. The fifth one on our list today is Cafe Caraway. To me, I don't know why. It seems like this should be located in the Florida Keys. Just the name of it kind of sounds like it should be on like a tropical setting. Who really knows? You've also got the Port Gellhorn Strip Mall. I'm pretty sure we saw this in the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer as Jason and Lucia are driving by. In the trailer, it's called the Evergreens Shopping Mall. It has a handful of different stores in there like Callus, Scala, Alpha, etc. Uh, that's the shot that can be seen as they're driving by the billboard and the other police cars. You also have Iris Laundry. I wonder if this sort of laundromat would be used for like money laundering or if it is literally just simply a place in which you can do your laundry and clean up your character. You also have Colt Cargo as well as Keys Garage. I'm pretty sure we actually see this in the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer as well. There seems to be one sort of building out there that functions as a garage door opening. And then you've got Burger Shot, the iconic burger joint that's been in the game for years now that is going to be returning. So those are all the businesses that were mentioned in the leaks. You then have places inside of the city. Some of these are a little bit more specific. Some of them are not so much. You have the Grass Rivers, Overtown, Grasslands, Bocamar Bridge, Seaview, Bayside, Guardia, South Beach, Vice Beach, Rock Ridge, St. Joseph, La Pearl, Washington Beach, Sundown Beach, Park South, North Beaches, and Belleville. So that's one thing I'm really looking forward to with Rockstar's next trailer or batch of information or screenshots is getting to see the areas outside of like Port Gellhorn and Vice City and sort of the grassy Everglades regions. In Red Dead Redemption 2, one of my favorite areas was that swamp area outside of San Denis. I thought it was so creepy, had so many secrets. Those are just sort of the fun areas that I genuinely just like exploring. But all of those places were mentioned as relatively close to cities in the GTA 6 leaks. You also have noticeable places. Let's go through those right now. The first is Vice Beach Plaza. Based on what we've seen so far from the leaks and from the very first trailer, there's going to be so many different like shopping districts, residential districts, commercial districts, etc. It's going to be a nice blend of things and places. You've also got Sea View, Leaf Links, which I'm pretty sure is going to be a golf course. It was in Vice City. Again, it'll be interesting to know if we can own something like that 
or if it will just be recreational. You also have the Sundown Tarmac. We can almost guarantee that that is going to be an airport, as well as Ambrosia Dairy and Ambrosia Tarmacs. That kind of confirms that it looks like there's going to be more than one airport, and after that, it's Vice City International Airport. So right there, could you have three different airports in this world, just like what we saw in GTA 5? You also have the Red Hill Forest, the Port Gellhorn Strip Mall, as well as the Port Gellhorn Racetrack, the Starlet Motel, the Port Gellhorn LA Casa Cara Motel, South Beach Hotel, Port Gellhorn Motel, and Kington Hotel. So the fact that they've mentioned a lot of motels and hotels honestly leads me to believe that this could be this version of the campsites from Red Dead Redemption 2. It really does seem like our Bonnie and Clyde characters of Jason and Lucia are going to be on the run quite a bit, and they might need to use temporary housing such as hotels and motels to escape from the police rather than having a permanent residence. That's kind of what it looks like with those notable places. And then last but not least, under towns and cities, we've seen this a lot or talked about it a lot with the Vice City mapping project. You obviously have Vice City, Port Gellhorn, Ambrosia, Red Hill, Sundown, Copperhead, Yorktown, Lake Leonida, Ekenfinica, Hamlet, and Domed Hills. And we've seen places like, obviously, Hamlet, Port Gellhorn, and Vice City appear in the very first GTA 6 trailer, as well as what looks to be pictures of, like, Lake Leonida and a whole lot more. And the Red Hills and Domed Hills makes me think we're going to get a little bit more of some nice topography so that the map isn't totally flat. This could also be nice for activities like off-roading as well. And what's crazy is all of that we were able to gather just from the leaks. Some of that was confirmed with the information that Rockstar gave us and from what we saw in the first official trailer. But there's still so much out there to know about, so much out there to explore. The only little caveat I can give you guys here is because they were mentioned in the leaks, there's a good chance that Rockstar could say, you know what, we don't want this in the final version of the game. So all of it is subject to change. But honestly, if I was a betting man, I would say more than likely than not, a lot of the things we talked about in this video today will be appearing in the final version of the game. But anyways, that is all the information that I have got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Of all the points of interest that we talked about in this video, which one gets you the most excited? Would it be the businesses like the Malibu Club or Vice City Pond? Or would it be some of the places to visit like Sundown Beach or the Grass Rivers or some iconic locations like Leaf Links or Red Hill Forest? Let me know what you think in those comments comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. And I know sometimes the YouTube comment section can get a little nuts. So if you want to send messages, photos, videos, or more, reach out to me on my Facebook page. As always, I have a link to that in the description. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.